Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft Video with me. Today we're going to be looking at a custom achievement system in Minecraft. Which, you can take this, you can plop it down into some world or something, or some server even. It works single player and multiplayer. And you can go achievement hunting, and each achievement has its own custom prizes or something. It has its own, you know, it notifies the whole server and anyone on it. It'll tell you specifically what, you, what achievements you got. And... The nice thing about this, it follows a very set pattern from, for a lot of them, so you can add on achievements yourself quite easily, And um, actually, and allowing this is the new, like, stat.mine block, all the different trackable statistics now from 1.7 that were added. Um, so this is the main part of it. There's a little bit over there, which is this part, which is for just one specific achievement, because... Not everything that I wanted to make for an achievement was trackable with the stat dot mine blocks or stat dot whatevers. Uh, so that's kind of my own statistic that I had to set up. So how does this work? Well, it relies on scoreboards if you didn't figure this out already. So I turn, I separated this from the clock just so you could see that it's different than the rest. But normally I'd have this hooked up so when you first came in the world it would trigger all these. These all set up the scoreboards so essentially it adds the score wood, which is a stat dot mine block 17, and 17 is any of the four uh, regular wood types, excluding acacia and dark oak. So we're gonna follow this one basic achievement because it's very easy to follow, uh, just to show you how these normally work, and then we can uh, kind of show it off. So let's first um, show you it in action. So when you first spawn in the world, and you first punch down a tree, oh, yay, punching wood or whatever, and you get this achievement, it's all colorful and pretty, and I got a wooden axe. So, yep, let's hop back into game mode one, and um, explain kind of what happened. So first I'll look over in the chat, then I'll show you in the command blocks. So, essentially, immediately it gave us a wooden axe, then it told us what achievement completed and what our reward was. It set our score of points to one. Points is this achievement points, which is added to the sidebar from this line of command blocks over here that set up all the statistics. Um, but you can change it to not being there at all or being on below your name or in the list from the tab menu. You change it to whatever you want. Essentially, every time you get an achievement completed, you it adds one to your achievement point score. Then it tells the entire server, achievement, punching wood, gotten by Zachary Boss, because that's my username, if you didn't know. So this will be a custom username to whoever got the achievement, which is really nice. It then sets my score of wood to five. What does that do? Well, that just basically says, you're done with this achievement. If I set it to five, you can never subtract from that score so thus you can never get this achievement again because you already got it so that's all that does looking over some of the uh commands here it's constantly trying to give ev any player who has a score between one and three on the wood and they'll give them a wooden axe so if you have a score between one and three then it will give you a wooden axe if it does that then it will give you this long tail raw command which that only tells it to people who have a score of 1 and 3. So it will only tell it to you. And it, I did a tell raw command because it looks prettier and has colors. This one adds your points. This one says this. So uh, this is the say command. Um, so this and this all whole thing is what instead is replaced with your username. And it then resets your score. So that's all there is to the basicness of this commands and all this stuff it's a very nifty achievement system that you can add on to so you can see it's, it's quite simple and most of these are very linear so um, let's give a few more examples I guess um, let's give myself some Diamonds here, the Ida. Diamonds. And two. And sticks. And 
and two. That's good. So let's go over and craft something here. We are going to do two diamonds and two sticks. You can guess what that does. What? Oh, it gave me the two diamonds and the two sticks back. Never waste your diamonds on a hoe, gotten by Zachary Boss. Uh, you will only be warned once, so don't mess up again. So this is an example of a joke achievement. There are some that are supposed to be practical, like the wooden axe. When you first spawn in, instead of having to punch a bunch of wood, you get a wooden axe. There's some joke achievements, such as this never waste your diamonds on a hoe. You don't actually get any prizes, it just uncrafts it for you, essentially. And then there are ones that the point of them is to kind of get the prize. Um, and so that includes a few, though. Like, some of them that actually have a prize that's, you know, just kind of, well, a prize. And But how you get them can kind of be different. So what you need to stay away from when making this achievement is making too many achievements that are like, dig 100 of this, or get 100 of that, or do 50 of this. You don't want a lot of repetition stuff, because that gets very boring. So I tried to stay away from that. There are still a few in there, and having one or two is okay. But having a lot is bad, because those are the easiest ones to make. So I tried to stay away from that. Um, so let's let's look at some limitations of this achievement system, and then I'll give you an example of my more complicated one, just so you can see how you can kind of... You're not limited to whatever's trackable. You can kind of make your own achievements, even more customizable. So it's kind of a known bug and kind of they didn't really intend it to work in the same way, that the stat.use item doesn't really work for anything except for things that have a durability. And even then, I don't even think it works for like, things like shears and stuff. Anything that's like, it's basically tools uh, with minus a few of them um, that it will track how many times you've used that item. And I was thinking, and most people said, oh, well, every time you right-click or left-click or use an item, for example, a spawn egg or anything like that, it should be able to increase your score of that item, right? Well, no, it just does tools, and so that sucks, because I had a really cool idea with every t some if you ever make a Grum or a Dinner Bone name tag and use that, you get, like, a special upside-down achievement or something, and it, like, gives you such uh, an increased speed boost that your whole vision goes upside-down. I thought that would be really cool, but apparently not, so thanks, Mojang. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Alright, so this one essentially um, is the one that we're going to be looking at. Uh, this one, well, it's a little special. It doesn't just use that whole line of redstone, it uses this as well. And so I'm going to go into this achievement, but first I'm going to show you how it works. And uh, then I will show you... Well, first I'll show you it in action, actually. Let's go to game mode zero. Okay, so I brought myself down to half a heart, as you can see, and every second, approximately, um, it's giving, it's increasing our score by one for this thing called Stupid Dummy, which is just a dummy score, and I just made up a stupid name, so, hence, Stupid Dummy. Um, so, this achievement is you have to be at half a heart for 30 seconds, so you have to survive at half a heart for 30 seconds. And my thoughts with this one were, odds are, if you're at half a heart, you might be, like, in a dangerous situation and dodging mobs or something. Clearly this one can't isn't that hard to get if you're in a safe situation, but I figured I was going to leave this one a secret in the achievement system and not tell anyone about it who's going to use it so that they have to get it from a legitimate scenario. So that was a lot of stuff that just happened, and so we're going to go over it. Um, so let's hop on into creative here so we can fly. Essentially, this is the entire system, and then I'll show it to you working in a minute. Um, so this are these are the two test for commands. So in order for this system to work, which to s briefly sum it up, these two things need to be true. In order for this clock to run, to pulse every single second, and every single second it pulses this command block, which adds a score, uh, it adds one to your stupid dummy score every time. So that's essentially tracking the number of seconds that you've been at half a heart. Um, so if you get to 30, then this one will set it to 100, in of which case these command blocks over here will take over. They'll say, oh, your score is 100, let me give you this and tell you all this cool stuff. That's pretty much it. But what happens if you stop halfway through, as I did before? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, 
So here it is, these two things. I got there one second, and then I immediately um, healed up again. So it set my score back to zero. How did it do that? Well, it's this pulse, le pulse, the, the, pulse lengthener thing that has this command block at the end, which will set your score to zero as long as your score is less than 30 or less than 40. Because that way, it won't. It, if someone else is trying to do the achievement and they mess up, it won't reset everyone's score so they can get the achievement again and again and again. That's stupid. Uh, but what it does do is essentially, this pulse lengthener makes it so we'll only set your score back to zero if the pulse... If the lack of pulses, I should say, from this is long enough. So essentially, if this turns off, so it stops pulsing, which means you do not have half a heart, you're not at half a heart, or you, well, essentially, if you aren't at half a heart, it won't pulse, it'll stop pulsing, which will activate, it will turn on this redstone torch again, which will make it so that it'll reset your score, so that you can't just say you, you die once you're at half a heart after 29 seconds, and then you, and then you get back down to half a heart, and only one second later you get the achievement. That's not fair. It resets your score to zero, so you have to wait another thirty seconds. So that's how that works. Running into the commands, you have to have not gotten this achievement essentially before. That's what this says. Your score has to be between zero and forty, which means you haven't gotten the achievement yet. You have to have a score of one for your health, which means half a heart. Because since the score is out of 20, every half a heart is worth one. And if that is true, we'll let these items pass through the hopper timer. Which will constantly be pulsing this thing, that, which checks for if your score is to 30. It will also pulse this thing, which adds a score. And you already saw this one as well, which will just reset your score to zero. <laughs> So, that's that achievement. That's a really special one. That's kind of the one that took a lot of time and I'm pretty happy with and proud of. Some of them are pretty cool. For example, this mycelium one, you have to find a mushroom biome so it's long term. Versus the wood one, you get right in the beginning of the game. So there's a nice spread in between you being able to get these achievements. It's, it's not... The achievement system in game is kind of like a lot of them are like craft a wooden sword craft a wooden pick craft a stone pick and then you get another achievement you know kill a cow it's like how newbie do you think we are i mean some of them are really long term like the adventure explorer one i don't know if that's even on here discover discover all the biomes like you can't you can't do that if you're like, you can't do that unless you're insane in the world and have been in there for a long time. So, there's not really a good in-between. For example, like, that one's kind of funny. It's not necessarily really that hard. It's kind of a reference. Some of the... That one's kind of cool. But, you know, other than that, doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so, this one offers prizes. It's a little more customizable. It's all around a lot better. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.